And then you can stop and start clips as you please. right up here. God damn beautiful. <laughs> uh, retards. These people are like, what the fuck, Julie? <laughs> like oh, the people. Oh, look, they're running away. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> oh. That was beautiful. You know how to get your next? Uh, yes. I'll be not with your blindfold. No, I don't think anyone fucking called the cops. What did you do exactly? Um, I just went. I, well, I've told you that one mile from the bridge. Mm -hmm. So you have to. You have the breathing technique. I showed that to Nick. And then um, after you do the breathing, you go into a minute straight of the cold uh, in a shower. But if you have a lake, you use a lake. So if you have um, a lake, you so I, lake. We, I thought we we're actually we we're gonna give up because. It's covered in ice, but we throw rocks in and create oh a thing. So, <laughs> yeah. It's <so> <laughs> oh, great. Hello, and welcome to the newest TP video. I uh, hope you enjoyed that intro. That was, <laughs> it was really fun to do. Uh, thank you, my friend Tristan, for filming that. Um, but, so what I was doing there was the Wim Hof method. And this video, I'm going to explain what the, Wim Hof had, what the Wim Hof method is, uh, how you could do it, um, and... And then I'm going to have personal testimonies from myself um, explaining the benefits I've gotten from it in my experience, as well as my brother and uh, my friend Wade. So hope you hope you're ready. Hope you enjoy this video. So first, what is the Wim Hof method? Wim Hof has defied logic time and time again, and always under scientific scrutiny. He holds the world record for being able to be submerged in ice for almost two hours without his core body temperature changing. He's climbed Mount Everest in nothing but a pair of shorts and ran a marathon in the desert without drinking any water. He's even proven in a laboratory setting that he can withstand illnesses using the power of his mind. But he's not a freak of nature. According to Wim, anyone can do what he can do. They just have to learn his method, the Wim Hof method. Using a combination of cold immersion, breathing techniques, and mental focus, anyone can accomplish feats that were previously thought to be impossible. So that is Wim Hof, the man himself. Uh, but next I'm going to show you how to do the technique. So first is the, the breathing method. So um, here's the, a clip from me in the desert explaining how to do the Wim Hof breathing method. Alright, this is the Wim Hof breathing technique. You're going to want to lay down. Flat on your back. <laughs> it's a little harder for me. And you want to breathe in this specific way. Breathe starting with your, if you fill up your belly, then your chest, then your head. So that's how you do the, the breath. And what you want to do is do a full breath like that and let it go. Not exhaling or forcing the exhale like you're just letting it go. So. And you want to do this around 30 times, and there's going to be three rounds. So you do 30 breaths or so in, and then on the 30th breath, you do one big breath, and you hold it. And you hold it for as long as you, as you feel that you can, which is a lot longer than you'd expect. So 
So the Wim Hof breathing method is only a part of it. Um, usually you, you do it before the next part, which is a cold shower. Uh, cold shower, if you have a frozen lake, uh, use a frozen lake. But um, what, what you want to do for, for starters is put your shower on all the way cold, or co completely all, all the way to the, to the left or right, wherever your shower is. Um, and then you're just going to step in there and you're going to stay in there for one minute straight. And then as you get better and better at this, you can add 30 seconds on, two minutes, you know, so on. But yeah, you, you, you do the breathing technique and then you're just going to step straight into this freezing cold shower. It's going to suck. You're going to be totally freezing. And it, 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 your first instinct might be to just jump right out. Uh, but if you do that, you're kind of giving your brain the option the option to do so. Like, like next time you do it, you'll be like, well, if I did it before... So not doing that and really sticking through the minute it is very, very important. It's going to suck, but as soon as you turn that, that the knob off, you look at yourself in the mirror just like, ah. So now that you know how to do the, the breathing technique and uh, to go in a shower or, a, again, cold lake if you can, just hop in there, minute, come out. Uh, now that you know how to do that, um, you might want to know some, some of the benefits. Uh, so I'm going to have... First, my brother, and then my friend Wade, and then myself at the end of the video explaining our experience with the Wim Hof method and how it's benefited us. All right, we're here with my brother, and um, you know, I'm gonna ask questions about the Wim Hof. So, do you still do the Wim Hof? Uh, like regu not regularly? regularly? It's been off and on. So, when's the last time you did it? Um, probably when I was sick. Uh, I was sick for like three days, and I did it a bunch. What were you sick from? Uh, it was just like a cold. But it didn't affect your breathing? I feel no. like it'd be harder. No. No? But I've taken cold showers consistently. Every day? Or every time I shower. So what's your experience been with the Wim Hof? So what are your benefits that you get from it? Um, what was it like when you first started? All that. Um, I first started taking cold showers before I knew who Wim Hof was, and that, um, that was pretty good. Did I show you Wim Hof? I think so, yeah. Um, <laughs> I felt good after the cold showers, and then you showed me Wim Hof, and I got really into it and did it consistently for a while. The breathing technique and the shower. Yeah. How, do you do it, like, every day, every, like, what was the... It, every morning when I woke up. Um, I didn't really notice any benefits from the breathing um but the cold showers consistently improved mood and then um i did it kind of off and on for a while like about like a year when was when did you show me like a year ago probably a year ago I, yeah i don't know um and then recently i've no this winter i noticed that i'm not as cold as i used to be yeah yeah. Um, so I don't know if it's because of the cold showers or the Wim Hof, but I only noticed that when I did all three, the meditation, the breathing, and the cold showers. That's, That's when you weren't as cold. Yeah. And then the cold showers have been consistently improving mood. But besides that, no other uh, benefits. No energy, no... No improved cognition, like no f increased focus. Nothing. Be honest. I don't. I don't know if I could appoint that to in, like any of those. Um, I'm not sure, cause meditation does that as well, so it could be just like from that. True. And wasn't there one time you <laughs> you did the breathing technique over and over and over? Yeah. What exactly? Wait. Did you do and what, what was the experience? Um, I just did a bunch of rounds. I forget how many I did. <laughs> I was just kind of bored. Um, <laughs> it, I felt really weird. And uh, I was listening to music. Well, how many rounds did you do? I don't know. Just a ton? Yeah. I eventually felt lightheaded and stopped. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, what, you, you said <laughs> that you saw like a guy th coming through the ceiling and stuff. Like... What did you see? Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't a guy coming through the ceiling. It was just like the ceiling was all weird. 
I guess it's hallucinations. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I don't know. I, I mean, you could do your own um, experiments with this, but I, I don't know if that's exactly healthy. Cause, yeah, and I also did a 15-minute cold shower, and I wouldn't recommend that. Was that? It, you texted me when you did that in yeah. my shower. Well, yeah. you, why wouldn't you recommend it? Because I, I don't think it's healthy. I, I, was, <laughs> I was shivering like the most intensely I've uh, ever shivered for like four hours afterwards. It's when your internal body heat is, is cold. Then I, I, yeah. could you like feel the switch? Like was there all of a sudden you're like, okay, this is really cold. No, it was like afterwards. I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> and you did it right at night too, right? Yeah. Because yeah. for me, for me, the cold shower gives me energy like crazy. But you're saying it doesn't. It is some energy, but not like a, a whole bunch. So sleeping was fun that night? Because yeah. that would have been crazy for me. I said that. Was fine. How are you gonna fall asleep? You're probably ready to f- fight yeah. an elephant. <laughs> yeah. Was fun that night. Yeah, I like to. Well, now I don't do just cold showers. I listen to music, which is nice. I think. I don't know if you've in the done shower. That. In the shower, and then I, I start out cold, and then at the very end I do hot, because um, I usually take showers at night, so it's nice. It's like a relaxation instead of a slight boost of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, you did the cold showers at night? Because you yeah, do them every I shower. shower at night. Oh, okay. So that's different for me. Cold showers and then hot at the end. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. For sure. Well, you have to start cold because if you start hot and then go cold, then it's not like jumping in. It's the cold. willpower thing. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So, would you say that you recommend it for, for people? Yeah, for sure. One, Give it 100% effort one time. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you. Next interview will be with uh, Mr. Wade, the Wade Meister. So we'll cut to that now. All right, we're here with my friend Wade, um, and he's going to be explaining his Wim Hof experience. So um, first of all, the first time that we did Wim Hof together, uh, can you explain how, how that was and how you felt? Yeah. It was a great experience because there were several people with us. That was my first time that I successfully did Wim Hof before I tried it, but it didn't really work because I was too tired from running or something. Yeah, we, the, the first times that we did a Wim Hof, well, the first times I attempted it, we were with another, who were we with the first time? Friend Will, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we were with a few Will other. Will and, and Tristan. And, yeah. Um, but we were with a few other friends, and, and I wanted to show them the Wim Hof, but right before we did the Wim Hof, we, like, we tried to race each other, so we were completely out of breath trying to do a breathing exercise, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But, um, yeah, eventually... And I think it, it was pretty cold, too. It was cold? Like... Yeah, it was. It had rained or something, I think. Yeah, and we're outside on the football field, but um, eventually I, I met up. We were at one of our friend's house with um, me and Wade and two other people. And uh, I guess that was the first time we really accomplished the Wim Hof experience. So, but, so once you were doing the, you were doing the breathing, how did, like, were you feeling lightheaded? What, t- tell me in detail what exactly were you feeling. Yeah, I felt it pretty strong, like just tingling all around my fingers, my head, my feet too. Like, and I, I felt like I was able to let go of all, all the bad thoughts and feelings and just focus on the breathing and what I was feeling. That's awesome. So, that, that was the first time you really experienced it. So, you told me that afterward you, you wanted to keep, you wanted to keep doing it. So, oh, so, did, did you two, I know you did showers, but like, so... Did you shower how long after that original experience? Uh, Did you get right? Well, you were doing breathing from right after, right? You really got into it. Yeah, I started doing it maybe two, three times a week. Heck yeah. And then like three weeks after, I started doing the showers. So I think that's when you told me about the showers. Yeah. So. Like the first two times, I also failed the showers. 
because they're cold. <laughs> it was. Yeah. But then the third time, I just like, I just clenched my fist, and then I just and how did got that through it. So when, when you first first turn it on, you're like, oh, I failed twice before. I gotta do it. So you go in, you feel cold water, you clench your fist. How do you, how do you feel from there? How's the rest of the shower, and how do you feel after the shower? Well, I definitely, like, there was some stress gone, and, like, I felt accomplished that I was making it through it. That's awesome. And did that, that feeling carry on for the rest of the day? Yeah, but it was, like, during the night oh, time. <laughs> like, I, I should have probably done it during the morning, but it, it did carry That's out. Awesome. And like I was more positive for the rest of the day. So would you say that you've, that you've, what are the full list of benefits that you say you've experienced for both the breathing exercise and the showers? I'd say more positive mood. Like there was some stress that was relieved. Like it lets you like let go of more of the negative thoughts and feelings like and i don't know really how those how it works but it does well i'm, I'm excited for you to see this video and it comes up you know, so who would you recommend this for the most like what people that are dealing with like anxiety depression or who would who would you you, Wade Pierce, who would you recommend this to the most? I mean, I'd recommend it to everybody. Like, everybody is going through stress, no matter who you are, anxiety, some depression. And, like, if they did this, then they would see that it really helps. Absolutely. Heck yeah. Like, I'd. I'd most probably recommend to do it in the morning, and then the, it will help you the rest of your day. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for so much for your time, Wade. Um, it, it, it's really cool that everyone will be able to see your experience and um, hear the positive, positive, positive energy that you're giving off. All right. Bye, Wade. Bye. All right. So my experience with the Wim Hof method. Um. I first discovered the the Wim Hof method through the breathing exercises. Um, I, I the first I heard about is that you were, that regular people were able to go like two minutes or three four minutes out breathing, and I was like, whoa, that's weird. So um, I looked more into it. I did the breathing technique for the first time. Absolutely blew my mind, and then I was totally into it. Um, I did the breathing method for a while, um, just on its own, just the breathing method, and it's um I, I did it when i was going to school i would do it every morning and it gives you kind of just a calm steadiness to start start the day kind of how you feel like after after meditating so for me it was, it was a great way to start the day so if i was worried about anything um like I've, if i had a presentation i had to do um then i'd do the wim hof method the the breathing technique at least before it and then later i actually got into the cold showers which for me so for me lately i've been doing when you're doing the full Wim Hof method, you want to do the breathing, then the cold showers. Um, but lately, I've just been doing the cold showers a lot more than meditating, and the cold showers are are so much to me. Um, when when I to to begin the morning, like I feel like I have to win the morning every morning. So the first thing when when you wake up is you just want to like go back to bed or go on your phone or something and then that kind of sets the attitude for the whole day and then it kind of just becomes a lazy day and i'm speaking from personal experience so it, for to me it becomes like a lazy day after i lose the morning so if i want to win the morning i do something like cold shower wim hof method so when i'm still all sleepy all, all lazy i turn shower all the way cold before i jump in and then i walk straight into it so it's huge for my willpower because i mean you know it's gonna suck you know it's gonna be freezing cold but you're forcing yourself to go in anyway and during it i mean instantly i get energy because it's like 
Ah, it's freezing cold. <laughs> so instantly I get a whole bunch of energy and during it, of course, sucks when I'm freezing. Turn it off. I put the towel on. And as soon as I do that, oh, I feel so good. I feel great. I feel ready for the day. And that energy lasts a long time of of um, just having a ton of physical energy for the day. But also the willpower, like if there's any challenges, you're ready to face them head on. So that's been my experience with the Wim Hof Method. And, and it's helped me a lot. I, I do it on and off. Um, um, so I have periods where I don't do it as much. Um, just because I guess I'm being lazy and then periods when I'm really doing it, I'm also getting a lot more stuff done, um, and facing, facing challenges head on. So I really recommend it for, for people. Um, it also helps so much with depression, anxiety, all of that. Cause it, I mean, when you're in a cold shower, you can't think of any of that. You're, you're freezing <laughs> and it's, it's really an amazing thing. It, it's simple, but it, it's very beneficial. Um, if you want to learn more about it, um, in the description, I'll have Wim Hof's information. So his website, his YouTube channel, um, and, and you'll be able to do your own research more, more of your own research there. Um, but next week for, thank you for watching another TP video next week. We're going to have, um, Monica Augustine, uh, intuitive life coach i'm gonna be interviewing her it's like an hour and a half a little bit longer than that i think an hour and a half interview it's a pretty great interview so i hope you're excited but thank you so much for watching yet another tp video and i hope to see you in the next one bye go <laughs>